Hey guys, Upset here, and welcome to a Rocket League tutorial video. Some of you guys were requesting on me making a tutorial video on how to make the map go from this to this. So, let's get started. So, what you guys are going to want to do is uh, click the first link in the description called Rocket Plugin. It's going to be called Bacus or Bacchus, however you want to pronounce it, plugins.com. The first thing you're going to want to do is install this. Just simply click install. Press open plugin installer.exe. Do that. It's going to do this. Blah, blah, blah. Plugin has been installed. Then you press X to close it. Now, once you have that installed, you're going to want to click on the second link that I have provided for you guys in the description called RL Lobby. You're going to do the same thing. Press install with Bacus Mod. Press open plugin installer.exe. It's going to do what it's got to do. Plugin has been installed right there click x press ok and there you go you now have bacus mod installed you're gonna want to go ahead and close your windows and then you should have an icon on your desktop called bacus mod this right here you're gonna want to make sure you open it make sure it's up to date with all of its updates and then once it's finally updated it will say injecting into rocket league or something like that once it says all that you can finally open up your rocket league all right, so now once you're in Rocket League in the lobby, just simply press play, training, free play, and then choose whatever map you want, and then press accept. Now to activate your um, modes or whatever, press F2 on your keyboard, and you'll have like the little hub menu. Quick settings is like the most popular um, modes, normal mode, low variance mode, very low variance mode, air dribble mode, python mode, basically all the most popular modes that they have uh, on Bacus mod. Then you have items, you can put whatever item you want in your car that is in the game. You just don't keep it, alright? Um, when you do change it, only you can see it and other players can't, so that's another downside. Right here where it says current game, this is where you change the gravity to be normal to upside down, alright? You just simply just press the inverse button, and from there everything goes upside down. Now there's another downside to this, you can't change the settings for the ball, or at least I don't think you can, I haven't even tried it. All I know is that you can put the map upside down and then you have to hit the ball to actually activate it. So that's how you make the map go upside down. Um, there's a bunch of other things like game speed. I can increase that all the way and like I am insanely fast as you can see. So I don't know why you would want to play like this, but hey man, if you do. <laughs> now there's a ton of other different things you can do to make your game way crazy and wild. Uh, I just don't know how to use any of these, so to help with that, I will provide a more detailed tutorial in the description. That way you guys can go watch that if you want to know how all these work, okay? Um, another thing for the RL Lobby. Um, let's say you and your friend have one. You simply just go to host, type in the name, LVL, blah blah blah. Host, and then um, you type in a password and all that. And you can simply connect to your friends while playing upside down. Now let's say your friend is the one hosting it. You just find them, you press refresh, and then their lobby should pop up. If it does, click on it, and then press the password, type in the password for that lobby, and you should be good to go. So that is how you make Rocket League go from regular to upside down. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. I'm not really good at tutorials, so if you did not find what you were looking for, I'm sorry. Uh, like I said, I am going to provide a more detailed tutorial in the description below. But yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down other stuff you want me to do in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, adios!